So last week was pretty hectic. I was in three different states in a span of a week. I had a few midterms, quizzes, and assignments, and we also had a work event on site. Let's start at the beginning. I had a pretty early flight to Minnesota, so I had to wake up at about 3 a.m. and leave at about 4. I know the clock is a little off since daylight savings just happened, but once we got to the airport, I was stuck behind a long line since I didn't get TSA pre. Anyway, I got through security pretty smoothly and headed to my gate. I like to bring my own bottle for flights and empty it at the TSA checkpoint just so I can refill it again at the gate. This was my first time flying Spirit, and honestly, it wasn't too bad. There was a little baby crying for most of the flight, but it was nice seeing a young family travel uh, after COVID. Also, for some reason, everyone on the flight was on TikTok for like majority of the journey, which I found odd. Anyway, throughout the flight, I mostly read and scripted an upcoming video. I also had a couple urgent tickets that I needed to get done uh, once I touched down. So I brainstormed on the flight. The flight was just over two hours long, so it wasn't bad at all. And once I touched down in Minnesota, I got a ride to the office since it was only 15 minutes away. The driver is extremely nice and was interested in the startup I worked for. So I chatted with him for a bit and I think he decided to look into us. Anyway, I finally got into the office and met my boss and co-workers. It was a little awkward at first, but it got much better later on. I've been working fully remote for the past six months, only seeing their faces on computer screens, so it took a little bit for us to get comfortable. They then gave me a sick tour of the office, but I didn't get much footage. It was pretty sweet. There's a gym, a break room, a few conference rooms, and a secret room that I can't disclose. Anyway, my calendar was filled with meetings for most of the day, so I essentially sat in conference rooms all day. However, it was nice having face-to-face -face meetings for the first time. I think it was more productive in a sense, plus there's an aspect of empathy that's usually lacking with remote meetings. We then ordered pizza for lunch for the entire office and got to know some of the local co-workers. After work, we went to see an NBA game. It was the Celtics versus Timberwolves that night. This was my second time seeing an NBA game, but this was a pretty big game which made it extra enjoyable. The Minnesota Timberwolves ended up winning, which made downtown Minneapolis pretty hectic. Day two was just a little bit more chaotic because I had a midterm and quiz to do before end of day. Most of you might already know by now, but I am actually a full-time student and also a full-time data analyst. It's been pretty challenging managing school and work at the same time, but I do like the challenge. A lot of people have been asking me how I manage my time, but I think the better question to ask is how you should be leveraging your time. I think being able to leverage your time, although you might be stuck in meetings or classes all day, is an underrated skill that a lot of people can learn. If you're interested in hearing more, leave a comment down below and I'll plan to make a video in the future. Anyway, I didn't have to get into the office till about 10 a.m. So I knocked those out in the morning. Then I went to grab breakfast. After grabbing some breakfast, I went back to the office for a few more meetings, met a lot more people, and got to watch a soccer game with my coworker. Sadly, my team lost, but we don't have to talk about that. Anyway, we decided to do some team bonding and went for an escape room in the Mall of America. I think this was a great idea. I got to see my team a lot different and I also got to understand their strengths and weaknesses. We then went to grab dinner and uh, had a couple drinks with the engineering team. We also shared a couple stories about our experiences with the company. So it's pretty fun hearing other people's experience with the company. Some of them have been there since the get-go, uh, over seven years with the company since it started. Uh, and others are newer like me who just joined this year. Lastly, we ended the night by playing whirly ball with basically the entire company. It was my first time playing Whirly Ball, and for those of you who have never heard of the game before, it's basically bumper cards plus lacrosse. Of course, the data team dominated. We went for about six games undefeated in a row. I had an early flight the next day, so I decided to leave at midnight, go back to my hotel, and pack my stuff before going to bed. I woke up a little later than I wanted to, so I couldn't get some of the work I wanted to get done. I then went to grab breakfast at the hotel and checked out at about 6 a.m. I decided to catch up on some sleep on the way to the airport because I was feeling very drained. TSA here was crazier than it was in Detroit. I ended up being stuck in the security line for almost an hour. It was all good though. I didn't miss my flight and in fact, I had some time left at my gate before boarding. So I decided to get some stuff done for school. I also noticed that our RPUs were maxing out, so I went ahead and fixed that too. Our data engineer recently left, so I've been filling his role for the past few weeks. For those of you who are interested, we are hiring a data engineer. Uh, it's a remote position, but you do need authorization to work in the US. I will leave a link to the job posting in the description below. The flight home was a lot shorter for some reason, and I touched down back in Detroit at around noon. It was an hour long drive back home, but I was dead asleep the whole way. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I know it might be slightly shorter than our usual video. Uh, however, I was pretty busy this past week. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.